Hello, this is Alekius, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Today we're looking at the modern battleship, where our goal is to design a battleship with superior fire control and gun technology in order to defeat a strong fleet of Dreadnoughts, heavy cruisers, and destroyers. Two battleships, five cruisers, five destroyers. Your battleship must be able to sustain heavy damage and be fast enough to keep safe distance from the enemy ships, which will try to encircle you and destroy you with their torpedoes or overwhelming close range gunfire. Challenge accepted. Ooh, 100 million, that's, that's a lot. Look for the technology though, as it will likely include better radar which is very powerful so modern battleship no need for range bulkheads welcome maximal of course make the best we possibly can just turbines fine, oil, force, and get the best fire protection. Oh, and grub four. Do we want the super heavy? AP is a bit underpowered still. The HE meta is alive and well. 20 inch torpedoes. Much as the HE meta is there, I'm still probably going to go with something optimized for armor piercing. Uh, long range gun rate. Radio and maximum radar. Basics in there. And really squeeze that in there. Oh, that's as far aft as it goes. Okay. People have referred to this as the Yamato hull, but it does not have the wave bow. It saved them like a thousand tons in weight. And that superstructure looks a bit far forward to me. The mega funnel, which will be destroyed shortly after we start. Okay, we have Mark three, eighteen inch, Mark four, fourteen inch. Not sure I want to go all the way down to fourteen inch. We'll just stick with the eighteens and see how it goes. Go for doubles. Huge gap in our stern there, so I may put a fifth turret in. We'll see. Yeah. Hmm. That's an interesting. I I had not considered doing something like that, and they specifically gave you points. Ooh, sevens will fit there. 
Actually, what about single aids? No? Okay. Also, are there any casemates on this? No. Let me put some sevens up here. No sixes of any size. Fives? All right. Let's say if you want to put fours on there. Not too keen on that. But we'll see if they have a slot for it. And some threes, and we'll just have as much possible firepower in this as we can get. Who cares if it's silly? And in my opinion, still worthless. It's bristling. That's the important part, right? Should we instead go for some sort of larger caliber? Just seeing if something fits right here for now. We'd have to sacrifice four barrels of eight to get two to three barrels of something larger. And you know what? I am considering 14. Especially, well, we can't put a bar pad there. Is not allowed. gone dual barrel on the entire ship so why not there we go four barrels of 14 are badly placed like what oh well because i haven't unselected forward offset so squeeze this aft a bit actually can we move this hey we got slightly more space now torpedoes because we'll get surrounded and I know it's a weakness in the armor that will probably get destroyed don't care I see some small value in it well let's how bad is it if we maximize our ability to all of our defensive abilities. That sucks up a lot. Put the super heavy, and we're probably going to want increase shells. You, I want. Effect. Oh, well, the gun aiming speed isn't as bad for the auto. Third traverse takes a hit. Yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of some of the the things if we go that route.
bunch of cost, but that's pretty snazzy. First, let's take a look at the armor. We're going to need 25 inches of belt for major protection. And we would need five inches of deck to the same. That's not total protection, that's just a lot of protection. Now, uh, if we get rid of the citadel instead, throw that into armor. Keep the anti flooding. It barely costs us anything. Triple hull. Do like the extra resistance that it provides. Drop the torpedo protection. Really want to keep these bonuses this time around. Not gonna go slow though. To achieve that, 100% efficiency. Can we reduce that? Oh, we can go all the way down to coal. Go to geared turbines. I have even more. Lost. Go to diesels. Less cost than the turbines. They have weight that we can't afford right now. Might have to accept the. How about the resistance bonus on these? Citadel is very, very heavy. Like that's a huge cost. Ah, uh, shoot! I'll have to sacrifice some guns or something. Do I sacrifice the main armament? 2,000 tons, 5 million in funds, really not that much actually. I want to keep the, the radio direction finder that was really handy in that previous mission. Go ahead and sacrifice that torpedo. No, it's not much, but it's something. So what do we do? We make it smaller. Fussing around. Subtract the fourteens. Gets us under weight if we subtract a turret. In which case, we can continue to go down. 
That puts us close. In fact, we're there. And we can get 24 and a half knots out of it. While maintaining maximum bulkheads. Perfectly balanced. And give it a spin as is. Do any deck. Now that's too little money to increase the tonnage of the ship. Oh yeah, 25 inches on the second. You know, you don't need that. I'm sure I forgot I had done that. Let's go with something more sane like five. It'll save us a lot. We can use that for more speed. Half twenty seven. Nope, twenty six and a half then. All right, that looks like uh, as far as we can take it. Launch the mission. Alright, here we go. That air hurts all Carl. Ooh, they're over that way. Yeah, there's no wave bow. Although I agree with everyone else, it, it really it does look like it's supposed to be a Yamato clone. Get our times 10 and turn around. And yes, I'm going to focus on AP. Oh, it's traversing. We can fire at this range? Sure can. I love radar. Ooh, a hit. Ooh, another hit. My engine damage at that. Right bearing drift. Oh, there's a third hit. All right, dropping the times five speed means we must be getting reasonably close. There's a partial pen. Shifting targets. 